Hello everyone, it's me again. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video showing you guys what we're doing for science right now. Um, I had purchased a couple of um, science units from The Good and the Beautiful. We started off the year with safety, and while I did like it, I wasn't as crazy about it as some others that I had heard were. Um, I mean, I, we talked about some pretty practical stuff, and I'm glad that we did it. I think it was a nice way to kind of start off the year slowly. But so far, I'm liking this one better. This is the Space Science um, unit from The Good and the Beautiful. Now it says on here it's a unit study for grades K through 6. Well, my daughter is an advanced 6th grader. She is She's in the 6th grade, but she really does um, mostly 7th grade work here at the house. She's just, um, she catches on quickly and she's very book smart and um, just a very intelligent little girl. So um, a lot of this um, is kind of simple for her as well but what I love that they've done is they've added unit extensions if you just feel like these lessons need a little more um, difficulty or a little more challenge for some of your children you can use these unit extensions to really beef it up a little bit um, so what this one is now when you buy the units you can buy them either like just the PDF version and print it out or you can actually have the physical version of the unit sent to you. When it comes to you, it's loose leaf. It's not bound or anything. Now, I always just print it out because it saves me money. We have a really good printer, so it's no big deal. Um, and I think this was probably about, I don't know, $14 or something to, to print this, to purchase the PDF and print it out. And um, I put this one in a three ring binder, which really seems to work great. Now, if you're worried about this space unit being any sort of like old, um, like old world billions and millions of years ago kind of thing and all that, it's not. It is a creationist point of view and it doesn't really address the age of the world. So if you're an old world uh, Christian or a new world, I mean a young world Christian, um, you know, you can kind of elaborate on that on your own. It doesn't really take a point of view when it comes to that. But I wanted to go over what the lessons are. Lesson one, um, introduction to space. Lesson two, stars. Lesson three, the solar system and the sun. Lesson four, the terrestrial planets, Mercury and Venus. Lesson five, the terrestrial planets, Earth and Mars. Lesson six, the moon and its phases. Lesson seven, gravity and the tides. Lesson 8, Asteroids, Comets, Meteors, and Meteoroids. Lesson 9, The Gas Giants, Jupiter and Saturn. Lesson 10, The Gas Giants, Uranus and Neptune. Lesson 11, The History of Astronomy. Lesson 12, Galileo. Lesson 13, Space Exploration, Part 1. Lesson 14, Space Exploration, Part 2. Lesson 15, Space Exploration, Part 3. And Lesson 16 is Constellations. Now, we will be doing this three times a week. So, um, it will take us a little over a month, probably, to get through it. But, um, so far, so it tells you what you need in the beginning of the, um, like in the beginning, it tells you what you need, that you will need a science journal for each kid to document their findings, and they have certain, you know, activities. Um, a science wall, I can't reach it, but you see right where it is. Um, there's a, you need a science wall, so, um, a wall or a space, or a lot of people use the fold-up project boards, and that works fine too. Um, just a space to keep your science vocabulary and, um you know, terms and that kind of thing that comes with the unit. Um, uh, let's see, it tells you your lesson prep, what you'll need for each lesson and ahead of time extra supplies. There are many books that come um, per page, I mean like loose leaf paper like within the unit when you buy it so you'll have to cut that apart and staple it together like a mini book. Um, several little things like that that you'll need to cut and of course I, I laminate mine mostly. Um, but anyway, it also talks about the unit extensions. So then at the beginning of the lesson, I mean, um, at the beginning of the unit, it tells you the supplies that you'll need for each lesson. So that is very helpful. Um, so you can go ahead and stay on top of the game. It gives you field trip ideas, talks about additional read aloud recommendations that they give you. Um, our read aloud that we are reading along with it is Along Came Galileo. We're two chapters in. The kids are enjoying it so far. Um, 
but this is just going to be a really fun unit. It also talks about different videos that they've put in here for you to watch, different things from YouTube or Vimeo or even, um, I think there might even be one on Amazon Prime here that you can um, watch or show with your, you know, with your class with certain lessons or whatever. So it's just really nice. It talks about the worldview that they do, you know, present it from a creationist point of view that God created this and all. So what I've done, this is the first page right here, Lesson 1, Intro to Space. And you see I've got a page protector on it. Any of the loose things that we needed, like the vocabulary cards or whatever, I just stick in this and pull it out with the appropriate lesson. So you see this uh, Lesson 1 came with vocabulary cards, which we've already put up. But then it also came with little cards for me to cut apart and I laminated them just to get the kids um, used to sorting through the planets, learning what they look like and knowing what order that they come in from the sun. So um, lesson one of course was intro to space so we had vocabulary cards, we had the solar system, the galaxy, the Milky Way and they um, wrote in their science journals. They had to write the terms and if they wanted to draw a picture of it they could. It also does picture study, so it talks about, you know, when you're, when you're looking at this picture, you know, what does it tell you about the grandeur of God, you know, that he created this, and it talks about all the colors, and so you're doing picture study with things like this, and, you know, along with it, this right here talks about, you know, what does this tell you about the grandeur of God, the same God that created the galaxy and all the stars also created every intricate detail of a rose, and I love that. Um, and so it just, you know, it, it just walks you through, like here's a lesson right here, lesson two, stars. And we haven't done this one yet. We've really only done one lesson. I had bought a um, solar system um, model for us to put together, so we did that the other day. But you see it's just little check boxes. So it gives you your opening activity. Um, you actually just read this to the kids you know, read this to the kids, and then it talks about the, uh, the brightness of the stars, and all these, you just go down the line, and I just love that it is so super easy to follow along, it really is, and um, it gives you everything that you need, so it comes with the pictures you want to look at, it gives you the links to the videos that you'll need to show, it even gives you two or three to choose from most of the time, so this one has a video, um, it also has a picture activity, and it has a unit, a lesson extension. So in this one, you'll see the lesson extension is down here, and I will probably have, depending on how my son does, he's only in the fourth grade, but he is, he's pretty advanced too. Um, so his, um, I will probably have him and his sister both do a lesson extension, but the less they give you three different ones to choose from, and it is research the spectral classification of stars. Our sun is a G-type star. Red dwarfs often fall in the M class. Find the spectral classes of some nearby stars. Or I could have them research the many ways astronomers find the distance to stars. The parallax method will be the easiest to understand. Or research black holes. Find out what time dilation and spaghettification mean. So I will definitely assign a unit extension in our next lesson. Let them do some independent research. Write a um, paper on it or um, like, a, like a poster usually is what I do for my son. He doesn't really like to write papers yet. Um, and I figure he'll get better with that um, with time. Okay, but see lesson three comes with, and I've stuck them in the little uh, page protector here, it comes with some vocabulary cards, and here's an example of one of the mini books right here, a mini book on the sun, and I just, you know, cut it apart and stapled it back together, so it comes with, you know, words, let me see, there you go, words and a few pictures and all, so, um, so far we are enjoying it, now next year I may do something that they can work on a little more independently. This is a student, uh, like a teacher-led um, course, so we are doing it together as a family. Next year I think I may go with more of a, an independent science and me simply just lead the history portion. Um, but it's really neat and we have our science, um, our science wall that we've already been expanding and adding stuff to it after each lesson. So it's really nice. It's going to take us a while. We have a, a trip planned to the planetarium um, here locally and we also have a trip planned over our fall break to the Huntsville Space and Rocket Center um, in Huntsville, Alabama. So 
that will be fun. I think that will, it'll be nice that we'll be going to something that we're actually talking about right now. So, I also wanted to show you guys this little game right here that I picked up. Uh, I found it on Amazon, and they have a lot of them. Um, and I just bought one at first because I wanted to see if we would like it before I bought more. But they have everything from the Middle Ages to the Civil War to um, Outer Space. And it's called um, Professor Noggin's Outer Space Card Game. But they have all kinds of stuff. Bugs and, you know, all types of, like, history and science-y type things. So I thought it was really neat. But um, we have played it. We played it Friday. And it is really fun. It just simply comes with your cards. And it comes with a die uh, with numbers 1 through 3 on it. So it comes with little, with beautiful illustrations on the back. So you can see the examples and then you roll the dice and choose if you want to do the easy or the hard section. Ask the appropriate question. If they get it right, they get to keep the card. Whoever has the most cards at the end of the game wins. And it is pretty fun. The kids really liked it. And uh, we played the easy version the first time because we had only done one lesson. Um, and so we just did not know how we would do um, and we did miss a couple, but most of them we got right. So as we get further and further in our unit, we'll probably kick it up to the hard questions eventually at some point. But anyway, that was a cute little purchase. Uh, I can't speak to all of them because the Outer Space one is the only one that we've had experience with. But it is cute, and it's worth the, I don't know, 8 or $10 that I spent on it. So really cute purchase. I know that they have other, all sorts of other ones of Professor Noggin's games, but... Anyway, that's our space unit. We're enjoying it so far. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.